Hi, Chris. So it's good to have you here on our Salt and Light Christmas set. Welcome. Thank you. So you are spending Christmas in Ontario this year, but you have been to the Holy Land several times in the last couple of years. How does that change your understanding of Christmas, having seen the place where Jesus was born? Well, the most recent time that I was there was for the filming of Within Your Gates, which is a, a pilgrimage film that we did. And I was there um, in late November and in early December. And what I found notable was that even though Christmas was rapidly approaching, there was a real absence of Christmas regalia. And uh, the most obvious difference, of course, would be that, you know, there's no snow. Um, but also, I don't think they have a Santa Claus parade there. It's, um, in many ways, I think it's, it's removing some of the um, Christmas culture that we're so used to in North America from the Christmas experience. And I think it's maybe a more pure experience and really helps you get back to the, the roots of what Christmas is about because for them it really is about the incarnation. Wow. Um, I have a weird question. Mm -hmm. Does it ever snow there? Um, reportedly it does. When I was there, there was no snow at all. I don't think it was ever even uh, close to being below zero. Apparently the first time there was a major snowfall was about four years ago wow. and I saw some of some pictures um, yeah. pictures there and you'd see these uh, young Palestinian uh, uh, Christians who um, you know throwing snowballs and having a wonderful time you know whereas here in Canada we kind of um, or at least I sort of dread the first snowfall but for them it's a very rare experience I did read however that GK Chesterton he went to uh, the Holy Land in 1919 and what? he was really, really surprised to see that there was a ton of snow. He said it actually looked like, um, you know, a Christmas postcard, whereas he'd expecting it to be, uh, you know, much drier and yeah. and uh, desert-like. But I think that that was a real rarity. Yeah, I would, I would be thinking desert as mm -hmm, well. Mm -hmm. So then, what is Christmas Eve? What are what are Christmas celebrations like for Christians in Bethlehem? Well, I wasn't there actually during Christmas, but I'm told that the hot ticket is Mass in St. Catherine's Church. St. Catherine's Church is connected to the Church of Nativity, and uh, this is something that's broadcast all around the world. And so, um, if you're a Christian in Bethlehem at the time, that's the service that you want to go to for sure. Wow. Now, you mentioned the Church of the Nativity, mm -hmm. which is the place where we believe that, you know, Jesus was actually born, although we don't know if that's the, we don't know for certain if that's the ex exact mm -hmm. location, mm -hmm. but we venerate it as such. Um, What's it like to be in the Church of the Nativity, in the place that is so deeply linked to his birth? Well, it uh, is a very long tradition believing that Jesus was born actually there, and it goes back to, I believe it's the year 326. Mm -hmm. and, um, uh, and so, you know, for many, many centuries, people have believed that's, mm -hmm. that's where Jesus was born. And uh, it's a very old church, of course, and uh, not in terribly good condition, but it's, it's still standing. Um, and there's a, there's a grotto underneath uh, where you go down, down a set of stairs, and you'll find a silver star uh, that pilgrims, when they go down into the grotto, they'll often touch. And uh, that's believed to be the exact place where Jesus was wow. born. Next to it is, is, uh, is a manger that's been set up um, where, you know, people believe that, that that's where where Jesus was placed after he was born. And um, uh, one thing that I thought was really beautiful was, you know, at all times of year in the Church of the Nativity, people will be singing Christmas songs. And so really Christmas is, um, it's Christmas every day in Bethlehem, but in a real pure sense that takes us back to what Christmas is really supposed to be about. Wow. And uh, one other thing quickly, um, that, that is a shared church, like it's not a Catholic church, right? That's right. And uh, so, I mean, for our purposes, filming it made it a little bit difficult because whenever you go filming in, in a church, uh, you have to have a filming permit. But uh, for this particular church, we needed a, a permit from, uh, from the Catholics, we needed a permit from the Greek Orthodox, we needed a permit from the Armenian Orthodox. And so they, they all share this church, and particularly this, this grotto, um, masses are held down there. And, uh, and so they have a very strict schedule uh, for each of the denominations of when they're able to celebrate Mass down there. And even uh, in terms of, you know, the cleaning that gets done there, everything is very, very particular because, uh, you know, in the Holy Land they have had problems in the past between some of these denominations in these shared sites. But uh, at the best of times, I think it is a really important witness that this isn't just a Catholic story, it's for, for all Christians.
Great. Well, thank you so much for sharing with us your experiences in the Holy Land and how that links to Christmas. Thanks, Alicia. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Thank you.